Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're headed out again. Sam's home again because he got a tire in his car. I uh, know, a tire in his car. He got a nail in his tire. That is what happened. It is pitch black outside because it's raining and we're gonna go and ride our horses early this morning. We have a busy week with the horses. We have the farrier a little bit later this week so we wanna get our ride in. It's already Tuesday? It's already Tuesday and we haven't even ridden our horses yet. So we're gonna go and do that. Chino goes barefoot this barrier. We're gonna ask him if Chino can go barefoot for the winter. I already know his Oh, he said he was better last time. His feet looked He's better. He's gonna say no. We're gonna see. We all know that. We're gonna see, but what if Going barefoot is going to change how you go trails. You'll have to put his boots on all the time again. I don't care. He likes his boots. Okay. All right. As long as you're okay with that, we'll try it. Aww. We can try it. Hi, family. Hi, family. You know it's going to be a good morning when Gabby starts off ranting. Anyway, welcome to today. I had to change the settings on my comp on my camera. I think we're headed for a new camera, to be yes. honest. I am in my favorite pants. They have a really big pocket that I always forget my phone in. It's literally pitch black in the house. Pitch black outside. Let's go. Let's go to the barn, you guys. Let's go. So, Gabby. All right, we are, look at, we are like, literally have no lights on in the whole house. We are literally uh, waiting for Gabby's sale. She's getting left, oh, she's talking about leftovers. It is leftover day, but she's not even having like turkey or ham. She's having Ooh, chocolate trifle when we get back. It's tradition to always have the leftover chocolate trifle the morning after the Thanksgiving. The holiday? The holiday, which we serve it at. The score pieces. All right, well, let's go, because we have to go. You're going to have to eat it in the car. Popcorn and chocolate. Popcorn and chocolate. Gabby, are you pregnant? No. Popcorn and chocolate. Salt Popcorn and sugar. Popcorn and chocolate on it is good. And pop. Normally, I do not let them eat like that, especially first thing in the morning, but... Need the food gone. Dentists we say need, just let their yeah. just let your kid eat it also it's gone. Yeah, we yeah, need mom. it gone. We need it out of the house. It's either eat it now or I'm gonna toss it. Probably take some to Nick because he would miss Thanksgiving because he had to work. But Gabby literally missed the day after Thanksgiving where everybody eats all the leftovers. So she's having her leftover day for breakfast, supper. lunch, and supper. Yeah, so she's having hers right now. We are pulled over on the side of the road. Because now my van is making crazy noises again. Like, it seems like last year and the year before, December was really hard. This year, from August all the way until October, has been really hard. Like, everything is breaking down. Nailed. Listen to this. I was right! I know, I was right too. That's scary. That's a scary sound. Back brakes, that's it? That, all that noise just for back brakes? All right, so right. now we're headed home. Like. We just went over this certain spot and all of a sudden it just started. Like it wasn't it wasn't like that at all until we went over this puddle of water. Yeah. All right, we are home. We are home because uh, my brakes were bad. So Sam is gonna fix them. We actually already have the brakes. Sam bought them a long time ago. He's really handy about that kind of stuff. So he's gonna fix them, which is nice Aren't you because- you the arena? Yeah, I unbooked the arena. So uh, we're gonna try and get to the barn anyways a little bit later, but for now we're gonna just stay home, do school, maybe do something with our ponies. Sometimes when bad things happen like this, like a lot of things happen in a row, like my washing machine broke, our my car broke, then Sam's our car- almost broke. Uh, the washing machine broke, Sam's car broke, my car broke, then my car broke again, and then the fridge broke. And it just- the fridge is good. Yeah, you know why our fridge broke? Tell them. Because a mouse got stuck in the fan. A mouse got stuck in the fan, yeah. Okay, let the puppies out. But anyways, sometimes when a lot of things happen in a row, I feel like it's God's way of giving us a sign, like slow down, relax, all of those things. So, I don't know. You just sometimes have to just go with it. You can't let it get you down. Yeah, we wanted to ride today, but it's not the end of the world. We might still get to ride today. We're going to see. But yeah, we're going to take a little bit of time here and let's... We're just gonna wait and see what happens. But I know that if Sam doesn't fix it, we'll take it in. We called all the places and one can get us in a week from Thursday and one can get us in on Thursday. So like, we, we can't not have a car. Sam, oh, and Sam's car broke again. He has a tire, he has a, like I said, he has a nail in his tire. So he his car's going in to get fixed today. It's just insane. Doesn't it seem insane? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are gonna start school and then we will keep you posted. Also, I just wanted to remind you guys that 
bad things like this happen to every single person so if you're going through a bad time right now know that you're not alone also know that everything passes everything passes there will be a time when not everything is breaking <laughs> i hope anyway look at gracie according to this thermometer is 90 degrees outside i think because it's sitting in the sun it's wrong it is nice out i'd probably say it's about 13 degrees, 14 degrees, definitely not 80. So I haven't vlogged this, but our orange cat's been missing for days. He left because he's afraid of the dogs. I don't let the dogs come in here. Today, he's been back. They don't like the dogs and we always come with the dogs, so they run. Sam sent me a picture of him holding the little orange guy, so I know he is back, but he's got a hiding spot out here. House, we used to have so many leaves. Who remembers that? We used to make this big, huge pile of leaves, and then we used to jump in it, and we used to put our dogs in it, and they had so much fun playing in the leaves. And there's not like an area here where there's so many leaves we could break uh -oh, them up. Uh -oh. oh no! Don't do it. Do you even like water? To That's with? good. I'm glad. Aww. Ruby and Molly. Ruby paw print and a Molly paw print. Look at how gorgeous that paw print is, though. So I'm down to the wire with my new horse, trying to figure out if I'm gonna go and try her and look at her. The time is coming and I'm talking with the woman. So, like I've been talking to her and she took the horse out for a trail ride this weekend and she said she's like amazing. But, and she sent me a video and the struggle is that because she's gated and even different than the Pasofinos, like all gated horses move differently, even though they still have that same, same smoothness to them. I can't tell if she's lame or not. Like, so I, like, I just wanna see if she has any kind, like if she looks like she's moving well before I go and see her. I don't wanna go and see a horse that's not moving well. I trust the lady, but so she sent me the video and then I sent it to Brandon and then I sent it to somebody else. I'm like, does she look lame? Like, we can't tell. Not that she does look lame, but like, if you notice the way a gated horse goes, it's so different than a regular horse. Like, you can't tell if they're moving well. Like we can't tell, even Brandon can't tell. He's like, Laura, I can't tell. Like, so I so I told her that. I said like, I, I don't know what I'm looking at. So hopefully she's gonna send me back another message saying like, you know, this is what they look like or she's pretty trustworthy, I think. She has other horses that have issues that she will keep forever just to keep them safe. So I believe that she is, is trustworthy, but then I also told her like she the lady said she's five foot four and the horse is fifteen point two hands. So on Stella I feel really com I felt really comfortable and she's fifteen point one hands high. And on on the Pesofinos I feel a little bit too big. So this horse definitely looks bigger. I can see Daisy out there. Oh no, that's not Daisy, that's a bush. <laughs> Anyways. So I wanna make sure that I'm like I don't wanna drive four and a half hours both ways and not and just walk in and be like oh that horse is too small for me so she's 15 too and so the lady riding her the lady's only five foot four and she looks perfect on that horse so like you can't tell by looking at a picture or seeing a video you can't tell without seeing the horse and i don't want to see the horse if if it's already like if i'm gonna stop at the size like do you know what i mean it's hard to explain so anyway i sent her a picture of me on the pasofino i sent her a picture of me on stella because she believes too and i really do believe like you have to get the horse that fits you otherwise you're gonna end up with so many problems like i don't want a horse that's too small for me so i sent her those pictures and i'm gonna just let her tell me what she thinks she loves the horse and i think that she'll be honest and yeah, like hopefully it works out like that. The last horse, like not everybody believes this size is important on a horse. And I do believe that to be honest. So anyway, that's where it's at with the horse. Pray, pray that it works out or pray that it doesn't work out. Whatever's meant to happen. Like, I just don't know, but I can tell you this. If I do not, if this horse does not work out, I will wait until spring to, to look again. I can honestly say I've never seen Gracie look like that before in my entire life. Can you guys see it? She's pure mud from top to bottom. I'm gonna have to brush her. Hello, Molly Moo. Hello. No leaves, you guys. We wanna break a bunch of leaves and. <laughs> Molly jumps it. Does she jump it now? Yeah. Wanna see? Molly.
All right, so we're coming into the time where we're gonna be able to still jump in Molly soon. And when it happens, I guarantee that that's gonna be what Molly's specialty. All right, let's see her jump over the tires. Hey Gabby, do you think Molly can jump the tires? Like go and uh, run through them? You run through them and see if she follows you. Okay, all right, three, two, one, go. I don't know how our making will do it. I'm blind. Make her come with you. Okay, come this way. No. I can feel my body fold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me. Look can be deceiving. Let you get the best of me. In bed with my worst enemy. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me So put your hand in mine. Follow me. Let me waste your time. Set up the do some stupid. Take a seat. Let me waste your time. So be top of time. Okay. Look, you can tell whenever this puppy gets tired, she comes and she wants you to like rub her back or rub her neck till she falls asleep. She pretty much like comes and tells you whatever she needs. Yes, you're cute. Go play. Go play, puppy. You're Mom, free. You're... Poor Gracie. She's probably like, I rolled so hard to make myself look beautiful and attractive, and now they just come and brush me clean. Yeah, I know. I don't know why she did that. There's hardly any bugs right now either. Lana, that's why we gotta cut her mane so this doesn't happen. Listen, Missy, were you trying to tell us that you were missing us? To be honest, I wonder if we have any other bits that would work for Finn. What? We need to find our horse's insulated rain sheets and put them in the back of the van. I thought these were the insulated ones. Are those the insulated ones? I don't know, they wore it. When we moved, when we moved here, they wore it, so yeah. it was spring. They're kind of heavy, I feel like. I love insulated rain sheets. Nobody really talks about them, but they are almost like a lightweight, but rainproof. No, Mom, these are just all harsh. Those are all harsh bits? The chain, pinchy. Will any of those be good for Gary? I don't know. This one's too small. Yeah, that's a pony one. It was a mini one. That's a willow one. So we have two of these. Do we have three of these? This one might work for him. Gary and Finn are both kind of changing uh, bits around a Finn's little bit. Finn's not using this. Finn does not No, Finn's, Finn's not using it. Is that a harsh one? You can control her right now. Harsher than the Pelham, Gabby? Then our Pelham, yes, because our Pelham's not pinchy. So we're gonna bring these up to the house um, so that we can have them because it's about to get cold. So we can have them at the barn whenever we need them. Like if we get there and it's cold, we can put them on our horses. Gabby's gonna bring chinos. Where are those going now? What? Where are those? The blankets. Well, we're gonna put these in the back of my truck, my van, and then we'll have them every time okay. we need them. They'll just be there. Like, I don't wanna get to the barn and be like, oh my gosh, it's so cold. So let's take those up. So Gabby's gonna bring a chinos hoof boots because the farrier comes on Thursday and we're hoping to There's take chinos boots there. off. Chino's yeah. shoes off, yeah. No more pulled shoes. That is the most Molly's annoying waiting. thing. She's tired. She, this puppy wants to go yeah. for a nap. So what's that, a side pull? My bitless bridle. Your bitless bridle? Are you gonna use it today? It's We're not going to the barn today. Yes, we are. Sophie, unfortunately, our car's, dad's gone to get his At car fixed. At seven, so we can take the truck. We'll see. Dad said his truck will be ready but in time. We'll see. I low key want to buy all brand new blankets, matching ones. I basically, I really want them to have nice fancy blankets, but in, especially in a big herd like that, they're just gonna get ripped to bits. So I'm just gonna wait and buy them as I need them because I know Chino's we're gonna need them. She had Chino's an 81, 78 is Storm, and 72 is Finn. 
Soon this barn is not gonna have anything left in it. It's all gonna be at the other barn. I love boarding though. I, lo I mean, I love yeah, having this little barn, but I love boarding. Oh? Hey, what's up? Nothing, what's up? Do you have the dog? Yeah, she came up and knocked on the door. Oh, good. She's fast. <laughs> she is fast. It's the laziest thing on earth. Do you have chickens still? No, we got rid. We took them back to the See, where we had them. Take my dog down. So we have nothing fun anymore. No, all the horses are gone. No. The ponies are fun. The ponies are not fun. There's two kittens down there. Yeah, they're they're cute. They're oh, one staring me down. Oh, do you see them? Touch them because they need some socialization. They yeah, run away. We held them for a while. Okay. Did you see the little girl has a cut on her leg? No. What's the boy's name? Ollie. 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 Mm-hmm. It's not Seamus. No. <laughs> What's the girl's name? Hey, get Lexi. out of the puddle. Lexi. Lexi. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Uh, we've just been chilling on the couch this whole entire afternoon. I'll show you what it looks like. Dark again. No lights on. We're a no light family. I may or may not have had like a tiny little nap with the puppy. The thing about the puppy is if you're laying on the couch and she gets tired, she climbs right up your legs and cuddles up underneath your chin and goes to sleep. But I have a story to tell you guys. She barfed. So, yeah, she threw up today. She ate too much for lunch. You think that's what it was? She ate too much? Yeah, she, her belly was so fat up here and down here. Okay. So anyways, Nick is here. If you guys don't know who Nick is, Nick is my youngest son. He wasn't able to come for Thanksgiving because he had to work. So he came today and he has got a couple of friends down at the barn and he's showing them the ponies, just showing them around. And when he came here, all the dogs ran outside because that's what they do. Whenever we open the door, they go out and they all run down to the barn. It's like their routine. So he ended up taking the puppy down with him, all the puppies. In fact, Molly's still with him. He took the puppies down and Molly, and he had the puppy puppy, Daisy, on a leash. And I said, make sure you watch her. Easy. And so they're down there for a little while. Everything's awesome. All of a sudden we hear a banging on the door. Like a knock, knock, knock on the door. No, we heard a scratch. Okay, we heard a scratch, but I knew it was a knock. Ruby. I knew it was a doggy Ruby. knock. Ruby. Oh. oh, leave her. She's cuddling me. Anyway, so I knew that it was a doggy knock and I was like, oh, Molly's done down at the barn. Like Molly does that. When she's done down at the barn, she comes home and Kevin knocks on the door. in the door. Yeah. So Gabby ran to the door and it was Daisy. It's just Daisy sitting there. Nick's still down at the barn and Daisy comes walking into the house and Gabby says, who let the child out? <laughs> but anyway, so then I phoned Nick, then I texted Nick and said, make sure you watch the puppy. And he's like, oh crap, she's missing. But yeah, like it's just funny to me that all of our dogs know to go down to the barn and then to come home. Like they just, we just have such a good routine with our pets, all the things that we do with them each day that it just works for them. And when we open the door, even if it's just for the dogs to go pee, Molly runs down to the barn and runs back, goes pee and then comes in. So like even just being here and letting her have that much space to run is enough to keep her exercised, I feel like. What game is it you guys are playing? What game is it? What? Grab reactor meltdown. What are you guys playing? Among Us. Among Us. That's the new game, you guys. How many of you guys are playing Among Us? Among Us. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way.